Hi, this is Nalin and you are watching Nalin Jana 3D Tutorials. In this video, I am going to model and texture a pineapple in Maya. After the lychee modeling, I got another request from a student for a pineapple. I believe his name is Avisek. So here it is. So it will be a little longer. So keep watching till the end and you will be learning some good things. This is the model I am going to do and you can see i have textured it and you no know, the leaves are dynamic if you move some leaf you can see they are changing the shape so they are dynamic i have set up a basic lighting if you render this we can see the look okay so we are going to learn this so keep watching till the end let's start so I'm going to start from a new scene so let's don't save this so it's a fresh new scene and let's go to the front view and I'm going to import a background image so let's go to the front view click on this little icon or go to view image plane import image and I'm going to import a pineapple image so let's see where I have kept those so I'm going to use this image so let's import it as a background image and now I'm going to you know, move this image towards this grid line here. Let's maximize this view. And now I'm going to scale this image. Now it's a very small. So I'm going to scale it and put this something like this. Okay, align to the half of this line. Here you can see the pineapple is a very complex shape. It has a you know, lot of complex shapes and texture on it so we are going to use pattern modeling technique i call that pattern modeling technique means you need to do one pattern and then we are going to duplicate it and arrange in a way so that it looks you no know, overall it looks like a, a shape so i'm going to do one pattern then i'm going to duplicate and let's see how i'm going to you know do this body part then we are going to do the leaf so i'm going to do one part from here so let's do this one any of this which is you no know, somewhere in the center so i'm going to do one thing here and there you can see you no know, there is a like kind of uh, skin on top of every pattern there there's a you know, on top of skin you can see this part so we're going to do that separately so let's do the back thing first so for that i'm going to take a spear so let's take a spear and i'm going to move that the location let's go to channel box and let, let's rotate the spear first so hold j on your keyboard then rotate from this angle so that this pole set to the you know, front axis here so now i'm going to change this height to 10 so i don't want so many polygons there so but i want to keep this axis 20 that's fine because i want to have some details there so let's move to this location i'm going to do this one i'm going to delete some part and let's move this image first backward in z axis let's move backward there somewhere and now i'm going to delete half so let's delete half carefully select and delete from your keyboard now the profile is like half sphere i can just delete one one row so delete it okay i think this is fine now i'm going to adjust it as that shape there so i'm going to turn on x-ray mode so that i can see through then i'm going to adjust it so let's select you can select vertices and move to you know get that organic shape behind there so here you can see there is kind of an angle like uh, this shape so i am keeping this you no know, edge loop like that so that i can create that shape there let me scale a little bit it looks like too much rounded there so let's scale it okay so i got this shape now obviously there are so many details on the you no know, body there kind of you no know, organic lines going on there like this so we're going to do that let's see how to do that before that i'm going to you no know, duplicate the skin part so i'm going to select some of the face from this these faces i'm going to duplicate these faces let's go edit mesh and duplicate and now i'm going to move a little bit in z axis so that it offset from that original piece there 
okay so now this is matching piece but a little offset it okay now i'm going to smooth it in order to get all those you no know, small organic details so let's smooth it so that i have you no know, lot of polygons i need lot of polygons there so let's you know, put two divisions here so that i got some good amount of polygons there okay now i'm going to get those details so in this case i'm going to use my sculpting tool so let's go to sculpting here and let's go to this sculpting brush which is called tool you can use mouse i'm using my pen tablet in this situation so it would be easier to do with pen tablet than mouse but you can do that with mouse a little bit you no know, hard to do but it can be done so here if i you no know, press and drag you can see it's like zebras if you have worked in zebras we can really sculpt on it but you need polygons for this and if it's you no know, it pulls the vertices too much then you need to go to this tool setting double click and decrease the strength if it's like maybe you no know, it's set to a higher number and when you try it's it can now do something like this so come here and decrease this value which is the strength so i need a very light strength even lower than this so i can hold control and drag as well from this box to decrease or increase low value so i want a very low value so that something like this maybe a little lower maybe i think this is fine and for the brush size you can hold b and drag your left mouse or the pen so i'm going to put some i'm going to put some you no know, wrinkle kind of effect so in order to push the vertices you hold control and then drag it push uh, otherwise it will pull the vertices so i'm going to pull and push and try to get something some kind of you no know, wrinkle or you can hold shift and smooth as well smooth the you no know, tension there so then uh, we are going to do the same thing with this one as well but uh, let's do this tail here so let's select this top part and let's scale them in z axis to flatten those and let's scale in this way and i'm going to extrude those let's go edit mesh and extrude and move basically i'm trying to get this you know this tail there with every pattern there is one tail and here i'm going to add some insert loop there so let's go to mesh tool insert as loop so i'm going to add some loops there to get that shape okay let's add some more edge loop here to you know make it a little bit bent kind of you know, arc there so let's add some loop here and here so there are so many edges here at the borders i'm going to merge these two vertices let's go to edit mesh and merge vertices merge to center and same with this two press g to repeat that same action then i'm going to delete this inside edge so let's go to edit mesh and delete edge and vertex make it more pointy and now i'm going to do the same thing with this one so let's smooth it let's put some good divisions let's put two and i'm going to do the same thing with the sculpting tools here you can see there are two you no know, main kind of wing you can say so let's use this brush so one pattern is done now time to you no know, texture it so we are, before we duplicate it let's texture it so for texturing i'm going to use this same image here and we need some kind of uv's let's go to uv menu here and open the uv editor and now we have some you no know, by default uv's going on there now you can see my uv's are messed up so let's go to this create here let's click on planner here and let's go to the uv 
and select every UV then go to unfold and click on unfold to unfold it make sure you first click on the planner and then unfold now you can see that's unfolded just move it do the same thing with this one select it in object mode then click on planner here and it's inside this create menu and go to unfold and click unfold okay so just very simple ev two click and it's done now i'm going to actually give a material and assign the texture so let's select both of them and i'm going to right click on those and then go to assign favorite material then assign a blend material here i'm assigning blend because i want some sort of you know specularity so blend has specularity so here let's move this and i'm going to right click here and go to blend material and i'm inside this attribute editor right now on this tab let's go to this color checker and click on it and go to file here and bring the texture here so i'm going to again re-import the texture so i'm going to import this same texture here okay now if you check if you select the model you can see the texture is here now we need to just select this uv double click to select the uv move it and you can see the texture here if you press 6 on the viewport you can see the texture on the model then scale this uv you can again use the scale tool move tool rotate tool here now i'm going to scale and move you no know, move the uv set the uv according to the texture so we are basically doing the opposite workflow here so first texture then uv so now i'm going to you no know, let's make sure it's set there and make sure the uv also matching with that piece now you can see it's not exactly matching so i'm selecting this area and press b to turn on soft selection then you can move softly you can hold b and left mouse drag to change the radius and here i'm going to adjust this so basically trying to you know bring the texture at the exact area like the model but this area is you no know, is not being visible here so i'm not worried that much and for this one let's bring the uv something like this roughly and you can see the one pattern texture is done let's close this uv thing and now i'm going to duplicate this thing so let's first combine both of them so let's go to mesh and combine and the pivot is at the center that's good now let's group it let's go to top view first and let's move this somewhere here let's say this is the pineapple center and now it's very close to here so let's move this somewhere maybe here and let's hold x and snap to the center center line here i'm inside top view now and now let's group it press ctrl g or go to edit and group now the pivot comes here and now this model is inside a group so now i'm going to duplicate it in, in you know, around the circle so let's go to edit duplicate special and let's reset it here i want to put 11 here i want 12 actual patterns around the circle and i have already one so i'm putting 11 here and i'm going to put 30 degree in the y axis so because i want 12 in 360 degrees so i'm getting 30 degree in between you no know, two so put 30 11 here and i'm going to choose instance rather than copy so that uh, when you choose instance when you adjust the original one the other ones automatically adjusted so when it's copy they are individual they are not going to change because of this so let's put instance and duplicate special now it's perfectly you no know, set and now i'm going to duplicate the groups so let's select everything press up arrow key to select the groups okay and don't just select like this it's gonna select everything individually so let's select the up arrow key and group now i'm going to duplicate it so let's go to front view so let's duplicate let's press ctrl d and move 
and then press E to rot bring the rotate tool and then rotate. Kind of rotating and moving and rotating. Then press Shift D, Shift D. It's gonna automatically move, rotate, and duplicate for you. So I'm going to you know press Shift D, which is actually this you no know, duplicate with transform option. So press Shift D. So I'm going to put a little bit more than what I need here so that I can now uh, adjust this by bending or adjusting this so this is a material issue sometimes it you no, know, sometimes it comes in Maya just a bug so go to existing and assign the material again okay so now it's perfect now we are going to get this round shape now that's not there so we are going to get that round shape so we have to do this manually so i'm going to you know show you a little bit then i'm going to fast forward the video a little bit so we can do this by just you know let's start from this one and if you select the front one which is this one i believe then if you rotate it you can see everything is like rotating automatically because of that instance option so let's rotate and move inside a bit like this and let's do the same thing here move and rotate i'm moving one piece but all are behaving reacting because of that instance something like this maybe a little bit more okay something like this do the same thing i'm fast forwarding the video here okay i just adjusted now i want to have a little bit curve on the body now it's almost straight here so i'm going to use lattice for that so let's select everything and go to deform and choose lattice we have a lot of polygons so it can be a little bit slower so let you know have patience and go to lattice point by right clicking on the lattice and here i'm going to select the you know center segments here i'm going to scale a little bit little bit to get the curve there you can see the curve body curve to get rid of the lattice select every piece and go to edit delete by history okay now i got the body shape there and these areas are you no know, open you can again duplicate and put those here i'm going to again put a inner filler object so i'm going to take a spear so let's take a spear so it's kind of a filler object i'm going to do move on do something like this yeah so we got the body there and let's put the same material and same texture here so right click go to existing material and go to the blend one so inside existing the blend one which has the texture so now you can see the uv is not matching so let's go to uv for this and again we can do the same thing here we have the uv already there and let's select the uv it's hard to see but it's there you can see and the uv let's move this scale and put there this is just a filler object so i'm not that no worried so it's never gonna because the leaf are going to be here and here but if it's gonna visible then you need to be a little careful putting this texture there so then let's see how to do the leaves for the leaf i'm going to do one leaf then let's see how to duplicate and you no know, use deformers to do the curve curve of this leaf so let's take a plane polygon plane here and let's let's rotate this like this 90 degree in the x-axis and let's scale it so you can see there are smaller one and bigger one so i'm going to do one medium here then we are going to duplicate and do the bigger and smaller pieces variations so this is my leaf again you can do it in any way but i'm going to use deformers and soft selection so i'm going to do the you no know, narrowing thing first so i'm going to do that by 
so let's put something in the height better height rather than this okay then i'm going to going to select this top vertex rows with soft selection press b scale it a little bit then i'm going to decrease the radius scale again basically it's narrowing towards the end a little bit then turning off and do this i think overall it should be a little bit narrower okay to get the feel of that leaf now this is a very flat leaf we are going to you know get that body shape there you can see it's kind of rounded like this it's not flat in this way and it's curving like in vertical way so i'm going to do that body roundness there by using the deform mode called bend so let's go to deform nonlinear and bend let's close this one so here i'm going to this inputs and increase the curvature now the curvature is not lined up so let's rotate this curve to like 90 degree like this okay so it's done i think i need a little bit more curve so let's go and increase the curvature here and now if you scale this model if you want more curvature you can scale this model and it's gonna you know automatically adjusted with that shape i think a little bit curve is better then i'm going to delete the history to get rid of that so then i'm going to use some deformer again that bend deformer but this time to bend this in this you know vertical way so let's take the bend deformer again and this time again i'm going to check the curvature now i'm going to rotate in this way and now it's rotating this way i don't want that so i'm going to rotate the curve 90 degree like this so you need to rotate the bend deformer and see with this curvature so now i'm going to rotate like this but i don't want this bottom part so i'm going to check you no know, zero this high bound here now if you check this curvature it's only you no know, affecting the half there and you can move this deformer if you want the you know, bend to start from somewhere else you can move it and it's going to start from there and from that bottom part of the deformer it's not going to affect because the high bound is zero there so this is one one leaf i'm going to texture it again so let's go ev ev editor and again i'm going to i don't need to take any you no know, mapping here just unfold it it's going to unfold because the map is already there now i'm going to put the same material because the texture is there so let's go existing and put lambert uh, sorry blin one and now let's make sure the leaf is inside and you no know, safely sewing the texture there like this so one leaf is done now we are going to duplicate the leaf and to get this kind of look so now I'm going to duplicate it with this deformer so that I can change any leaf you no know, any time. So let's first group this, these two. So let's press Ctrl G to group it. And now the group is there. Now I'm going to move it to a location here somewhere. Okay. And let's set the pivot to the center again. So let's press D to get the pivot mode and turn on this snap to grid and move to snap to this grid here to this center grid turn off this press d again to go back to the move tool now i'm going to duplicate this group let's go to edit duplicate special because if you do du just duplicate by ctrl d it's not gonna know if you duplicate it like this and if you try to change this leaf shape it's not gonna usable anymore you cannot just duplicate a deformer and it's not gonna work so we need to use duplicate special because we have some option inside that which allows us to do that so go to duplicate special reset it and turn on this duplicate input graph and then duplicate it so make sure this is set to input graph and duplicate special now i'm going to duplicate before i duplicate let's do this being the pivot somewhere here which is easy to use okay then let's control shift d to duplicate special so let's duplicate special so i'm going to bring this menu here somewhere to myself 
to know read duplicate so let's go to hold control shift and click on duplicate special to bring this because i cannot use the shortcut because of my recording that has said to other thing so now i'm going to duplicate special from here and rotate from here okay something like this and now if you check it should work if you go to this band reformer now it should work correctly so that we can you know give some variation there let's do the same thing So here you can see I just duplicated some you know, pieces. I need to duplicate more. You can see there are smaller pieces here at the base and they are longer here. So we are going to do something like that. We are going to scale all these things at the you know, side here. So let's duplicate some more. So let's duplicate this. Scale the groove there. So let's group, scale the groove here. And let's put somewhere here do the same thing here so select the group with the deformer and then scale it and now i want to change give variation so i can do it easily with this deformer so let's select let's say i want to change this so go to its deformer let's select which is the pink one select that then go to the deformer and change the curvature so you can easily change the planes anytime you can change the angle of this we can change the no, size of there by just scaling scaling them just scale those basically scale and even you can move them and they are going to you know uh, behave according to the deformer there so this is the beauty of this you no know, technique you can change any time here and let's rotate this even you can move the deformer as well so it's, it's hard to select here sometimes you can just click on this you know, polygon masking icon here which is i think collapsed here you can click on this to you know only select the deformer there you can move it thing like this okay so here this is your you no know, pineapple model you can just take you no know, give some more time to perfect this you no know, leaf area so now we are going to render it so let's take and i'm going to start from a backdrop so let's take a polyplane here and let's take this you now scale this and i'm going to select this as loop here and let's extrude it move it press g extrude again something like that let's simple basic backdrop then i'm going to take a light arnold light so i'm going to use arnold so i'm going to take this arnold area light which is the first light here and let's scale this area light and let's you know this this would be our key light you now coming from this right side here and let's let's make it a little bit up down angle and now if you click on this little icon here it's gonna show you the render area just set the view according to that now let's click on this second icon here you can see it looks black so let's turn off this it's because of the light intensity go to attribute editor and the light is selected increase the intensity so in this case it needs a lot of intensity let's put 5000 and see 
as you can see this is looking very shiny and the backdrop is hardest so let's press 3 for this and for this let's go to material attribute of this so go to this material decrease this specular roll off here to decrease the specularity and then the color is little bit darker so let's increase this diffuse to 1 just two adjustment decrease the specular roll off increase the diffuse so let's render it again now the specularity is went down and the backdrop looks smooth and the light is still no overall it looks dark and let's increase the light intensity so let's select the light from here you can select the light from outliner increase the intensity a bit so let's put maybe 10,000 instead of 5,000 and I'm going to turn on this color temperature by turning on this you can put color value so now it's 6500 Kelvin let's put maybe somewhere 4500 because I want a little bit yellowish color so the less value the you know, more yellow towards red 6500 is like like white now you can see a little bit yellowish color so you don't have to give yellow color this is my personal preference you can see now it's looking great but from this angle it looks dark so we are going to put some fill light so let's duplicate this light press ctrl d and duplicate this area light so we are going to put this as fill light but this time from little bit front angle is coming this way like this and i'm going to decrease the intensity because i don't want you now the key light and the fill light is same intense so i'm going to put maybe half half of that and then i'm going to put some blueish so i'm going to increase the value from you know more than 6500 so 6500 is white more than 6500 is like blueish so let's say maybe 10000 and you can see it's kind of bluish light now again the yellow and blue combination look cool because the warm and you know, blue tone so but it's up to you you can you know, keep white light as well if you want white light you don't have to you know, turn on this because you have the white light here you can see now still looking kind of you no know, downside a bit I believe so I can increase this intensity a bit so let's say maybe 15,000 so lighting is like this you need to put some value and see if it's working okay so here it is this is the you no know, end of this tutorial the key takeaways are modeling complex shape using pattern modeling technique using duplicate special to duplicate and create the pattern using instance duplicate using soft selection and using deformer if you want me to make tutorials on your request please subscribe and give me a request i also teach on udemy and i have some great courses there the course links are in the descriptions you can check those out so this is nalin you were watching nalin jona 3d tutorials so thank you for watching again see you in the next video till then take care and bye